So Paul, the, the, the home buying process on the lending side, you know, there's a whole process to it, the pre-approval, the application, what happens when the home goes under contract. Can you walk us through this? Buying home, the first step is getting pre-approved. Uh, Amelia, you'll, you'll obviously, you know this very well when clients, agents, you know, you work with having a letter shows that you're, you know, your client is eligible to buy a house. There's certain price points. So we start with first, okay, what is a pre-approval? It is something we need. It basically, we run your credit, you know, verify your income, either with yep. pay stubs, tax returns, the whole nine. And then we also look at your down payment. If they're using a down payment assistance, it's different, but even in general, just verifying funds. So we collect bank statements, pay stubs, run your credit at this point in the process. Then we can determine what you qualify for. If you're looking at single family home, multifamily home. So this is the first step, regardless of what program you want to go with, you have to have these, you know, these numbers run. Then once we get to that point of running numbers, we determine what program fits you. If it's going to be a you know conventional program, uh, you know first time home buyer out and housing program, FHA, uh, VA with our veterans. So this is the next step. So I go from collecting your documents, you know, running everything through our system, you know, verifying, reviewing. Then I can determine where you're at, go over what mortgage programs fit you, based on your credit score, based on your down payment, you know, mm -hmm. based on your income. So mm -hmm. that's the first step. We get you a pre-approval letter. Then you work with your advisor, you know, and give the letter to them. They start showing you properties in your price range. Okay, now you go back and forth. You know, you work with you know your advisor, your realtor, and they allow you to put offers in. Once an offer is accepted, and again, usually what I like to do is when I pre-approve someone, if they do put an offer in, beyond going through what monthly payments would be, I also like to re reach out to listing agents and let them know, you know our, our client's very strong. You know, they can close in so many days. So try to help along the way. But once an offer is accepted, you're under contract now. Um, in Rhode Island, you sign what's called a purchase and sales agreement. Mm -hmm. That At that point, usually the next step would be you would get an inspection done. So you have your inspection done your side. As soon as you get that part of the process finished, then I would say, okay, we're ready to start the application itself. Now, the application, because I've already collected a lot of the documentation prior to, usually it's a couple of things I would need, maybe an updated bank statement, updated pay stub, something along those lines, nothing crazy. Then we do the application in the system. Um, at that point, I would lock in your interest rate, which we would discuss ahead of time. I'd also, you know, go over all the monthly payments and the costs that you would incur to get this loan with closing costs and, you know, everything else that, you know, on the loan. Then we would do the application. The next step would be ordering the appraisal. Um, mm -hmm. People always ask me, well, how does that work? Well, obviously, we, you know, we have appraisal companies we work with in Rhode Island. We'd reach out to the appraisal company. They would uh, assign an appraiser to your file. And then the appraiser would reach out to the listing agent to, you know, get the appraisal scheduled. And at that point, once the appraisal comes back, really, that's the point when your loan gets approved. I mean, initially, we do a pre-approval. Everything's great. But until we have official appraisal back and then title work as well, we have attorneys we work with on a daily basis. They mm -hmm. do a title search on your property. And then once we have the title back, the appraisal back, then your loan gets approved. Approval is great. Usually at that point, you know, you're very happy. We hit what's called a commitment date which is a date on the purchase and sales agreement that we have to hit, which is say if it's a 30-day closing, usually a commitment date might be 15 or 20 days into the process. We get you the uh, the commitment letter saying that you've been approved. At that point, we usually have to get an insurance binder and put homeowner's insurance in place, the final underwriting review, and then they issue hopefully what's called a clear to close. And that's mm -hmm. probably the best you know phrase you ever hear, you're clear to close. That means at that point, we can then um, you know, schedule the closing. Usually we have a date on the agreement when we're doing a uh, contract, hit that date, and then we close. I mean, this is kind of a, a watered down you know, breakdown of the process, but more or less, this is kind of how it goes from start to finish. I mean, along the way, it could take a little longer or, or, or less time for some people, but that, that's the process in a nutshell.